January 20th, 2014. In part one of this, we were talking about gamma ray burst and the effects on Earth and uh, where some of this knowledge came from. But it says um, that they had arguments for what they were for magnetars were proposed for before the end of 1995. Said, however, at that time, few astronomers were interested in studying this issue of neutron star magnetism. Now, the situation changed dramatically in 98 when many new observational results came flooding in. Marshall Space Center and uh, showed that X ray emissions from SGR 1806 were pulsating on a regular 7.5 second cycle. The 7.5 per second cycle is uh, the Earth and the Sun and a lot of human. Activity. These pulsations are almost certainly due to the rotation of a neutron star. As the star turns bright in dim zones on its surface and its surrounding magnetosphere uh, eventually rotate in and out of view. This means that 1806 had a rotation period of 7.5 seconds. They're saying that, that uh, they caught it every time it turned around. Guys, I think that theory is wrong, and I'll show you why, but... It said they, in 98, uh, they raised much interest among astrophysicists. Moreover, uh, it seems if the SGRs themselves decided to respond. In other words, this one in 98 uh, was a triggering effect. And we talked about these orbs and balls of energy and how one would trigger the other or an event like the uh, Marcanian burst in 2013 would trigger this other energy burst. And that's what they're talking about here to where they one star emitted a hundred burst over the next two months some were uh doing more than that guys but they um they detected 50 burst during the last week from sgr 1900 um now but the reason i say that formula is flawed because if you anybody remember cygnus 3 when it burst and that gamma ray came out of it it came out both sides and as the star rotated, if you were counting that pulse, you were getting two per rotation. So they need to slow the uh, rotation speed in half. If you see what I'm saying, you're just like a a, a, a lighthouse that has uh, dual lights. It's only rotating one time, but you're going to see the flash twice. So cut your speed in half. Now, the body response to this is a gamma radiation. It breaks down your DNA molecules. The cell may be able to repair the damaged genetic material within limits. It says a study of the, from, uh, shows that the repair process works well after a high dose, but is much slower in the case of low-dose exposure. Doesn't make much sense. It says the new computer models show that a gamma ray burst aimed at Earth could deplete the ozone layer, cause acid rain, and initiate a round of global cooling from as far as 6,500 light years away. Such a disaster may have been responsible for the mass die-off of 70% of the marine creatures that thrived during the crustacean period. You can pause that, guys. They've got SWIFT satellite up. Now, guys, it's a XRT, and it says the SWIFT XRT team expects 2014 to be a banner year for the campaign. Are you listening? A cold gas cloud named G2, about three times the mass of Earth, will pass near at Sagittarius A and, all, and already is being affected by tides from the black hole's powerful gravitational field. Astronomers expect G2 will swing so close to the black hole that during the second quarter of the year it will heat up to the point where it produces X-rays. You think they're trying to get CERN cranked up for that? If some of the clouds' gas actually reaches Sag uh, Sagittarius, say astronomers may witness a significant increase in activity from the black hole. The event will unfold under the next few years, giving scientists a front seat to study the phenomena. Astronomers around the world are eagerly awaiting the first sign for this interaction to begin. I bet they are. Cr crank it up. It says scientists saw what they thought were, was a sign in April. This is 2013. This says the greatest dangers believed to come from what's called a wolf ray at stars, regarded by astronomers as likely gamma ray burst candidates. It says, uh, for example, WR104 were to hit Earth with a burst of 10 second duration, the gamma rays could deplete about 25% of the world's ozone layer. This would result in mass extinction, food chain depletion, starvation. You know how our father can work the uh, 
seven trumpets and the seals, guys, and these events. Now, let's look at some of this in Revelation because I think it ties directly in. It says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. This is John, guys. And and he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And the nations were angry, and the wrath is come in the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that they and thou <clears throat> that thou shouldest give us reward unto thy servants, thy prophets, and to the saints and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. And what was opened in heaven? The temple. And what was found there? The ark. So if somebody's running around trying to start a fire, guys, that claim to be uh, biblical scholars, where's the tent? Where's the ark? It was taken up, just like Moses and Elijah. It, the ark is in heaven. Where in the temple of God that's coming here? So there was lightning and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail. What? Great hail, guys. We know that's the, when we start seeing the first, just before the first trumpet. Psalms had something to say about it. It says, his going forth is from the ends of heaven, and his circuits unto the ends of it, and there's nothing hid from the heat thereof. Do you know where Sirius D is, guys? Heads up. Our next blog talk show will be Wednesday with Michael and Anthony. It's going to be about a lot of these topics. Don't miss it. Heads up.